If you have perfect attendance for just this year, please rise. Thank you. They were recognized earlier with some certificates. We do have some students who had multiple years in a row of perfect attendance. First, perfect attendance for grades five through eight. We had two students, Greg Williams and Trent Radford. student, perfect attendance, grades four through eight, Jenna Hussey. We had two students, perfect attendance, grades three through eight, Austin Snowden, Daniel Radford. We had one student who has never missed a day yet, kindergarten through eighth grade. And she also runs the fastest mile, Cheyenne Warwick. We did our 6th and 7th grade awards day the other night. We had 60 students who had perfect attendance for this year. So, outstanding job to all those students. Next, we just want to recognize our corporate club members. Our corporate club is a club that started a couple years ago. And each month, all of our teachers nominate one student to be a, a corporate club member to get student of the month. Well, these, the teachers write a paragraph about them, and then they get recognized school-wide. But now this club has grown. They all get a yellow wristband that says Cobra Club member, and then they get different perks throughout the day and throughout the year, such as uh, uh, being dismissed before everybody else. And when you have a school of 1,000 kids, to be dismissed first, that really means a lot to them, and because then they can get on those buses before everybody else. At this time, I would like all our Cobra Club members to please rise. who have been Cobra Club for two years to please rise. Very nice. And finally, thank you. And finally, all Cobra Club members who have been Cobra Club 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, please rise. Thank you. Excellent job. Highest average. It is simply that highest average. The teachers did their calculations, and then we give an award to recognize the one student who had the highest average in the whole school. And this year's winner is Elizabeth Choi. Give her a hand, that's pretty impressive. The next two awards is Miss Gwen Winston's Citizenship Award. To my left is Miss Fuller. Miss Fuller is Miss Winston's sister. Miss Winston was our assistant principal and she passed away about four years ago. She was a very nice lady and immediately we knew we had to do something to recognize her. Our marquee that is out in the front of the school we dedicate it to her, but each year now we recognize two students, a male and a female, who possess uh, the citizenship skills that Miss Winston did. This year's female winner, Logan Wheeler. These names also get put on a plaque each year that is in our front office. Our male winner, Hunter Dean.
excellent job. The Hunter and Logan. Good job. Finally, for special awards, our principal's award. Principal's award goes to, this year we actually have four of them, but I couldn't narrow it down to two. And none of the teachers even know who I, who I choose. I choose them. And I look at all three years of being with these students and the camaraderie I have to build with these students and the ones that just really stand out to me. First, this girl never really says anything, period. She's always reading. Well, is one of the nicest girls I, I've, ever, I've ever met, nicest students I've ever met. She is always willing to help out. I know her teachers adore her. I'm going to present my first principal's award to Sydney Waters. Sydney Waters. Next, one of the male students. This student has gone above and beyond for three years. And one of the criteria that I use to select these winners is just a genuine nice kid. Nice, um, not cocky, not arrogant, not, um, not afraid to say hello to the principal, not afraid to say hello to his teachers. Um, this student just shines. This student has an excellent future. In all aspects, I want to present my next principal's award to A.J. Mundo. students names have been called. 